Welcome back to a new episode about the Get Super Global in PHP. This will be a quick episode, so let's get right into it. The Get Super Global variable is used to collect data from the HTML form after submitting it. So when the form uses the get method, the data will be visible in the query string. So let me add it as a comment. The data will be visible in the URL. And compared to the post method, which is invisible. You should use the get method whenever you want to send non-sensitive information, like a name or age and so on. Don't use the get method if you want to submit a password, because a password is sensitive information and you don't want to show it to the user. So let's go right outside our PHP tags and let's create a form. And the action is equal to, well, where we're in right now, which is the get.php. And the method, and in the previous episode, our method was equal to post. And since we're working with get, we just need to replace it with get. Or write down get because we're not replacing it right now. And inside our form, we need to create input fields. So let's create an input field with a type equal to text and a name equal to name. And let's create another one. And the type is also equal to text and the name is equal to age. We also need a button in order to submit the form. And that has a type of submit. So let's save it, refresh the browser, and let's add some text in between our button tags. Otherwise it won't work. This works better. So let's fit in our forms. So let's say that my name is equal to Dari, and my age is equal to 24. And whenever I click on submit, take a quick look to the URL. You can see that the information that we've inputted in our two fields are visible inside the URL. So you got the path, which is get.php. There is a question mark that stands for the query that got passed. And the query is name is equal to Dari. And the name is the name of our input field. And we also got our age, which is the name of our input field, is equal to 24. Right now, we are sending non-sensitive information. So let's replace the name of our second input field to password. And let's do the same thing for the type. Let's save it. Refresh the browser. And you can see that we created a password input field. Let me change my password to one, two, three, four, five. Let's submit it. And let me make my screen a little bit bigger. And you can see that we pass in the input fields inside the URL. And that's not what we want with the password because our password is visible right now. So I recommend you to use the get super global to get data from the server. And what I mean by that is that nothing should change on the server because of your action. And the request should return the same value regardless of how many times you are running it. This was it for this episode. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.